Hello everyone, Apple Demo here. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a prototype Apple TV. This prototype Apple TV is a third generation model. Standard third generation Apple TVs were officially released on March 7th of 2012. However, this particular unit was made over one month before the official release. Prototype Apple TVs don't appear that often, and there hasn't ever been one seen online that has prototype software installed as well. But I'll get right into the software side in just a few moments. For now, let's take a look at the physical differences and hardware that this Apple TV has. As clearly evident on the front, this prototype Apple TV has two stickers. These stickers were most likely used to identify this specific prototype device. If we take a look at the back of the Apple TV, we can clearly see that there's no engravings on it. It's missing things such as the serial number and model number. And additionally, there's a little yellow tab that's hanging out of the back. Upon opening the Apple TV, we can clearly see that this yellow tab was intentionally placed there. But aside from that, the internals look almost identical to a normal Apple TV. This is because the Apple TV third generation is PVT. Hence, its hardware would pretty much be identical. Now for the part we've all been waiting for. What happens when you try to power on this Apple TV? Well, let's take a look. When initially powering on, the Apple TV will show the non-UI, also known as switchboard, logo. However, after a short period, it will go to a black screen and never change. This, however, is not a hardware or software issue. It's just the way that the prototype software on these Apple TVs were set up. Non-UI, for those who don't know, means no user interface, which basically just means it's a command line interface. Or to say it simply, there's no fancy things that you can see on the screen. However, because it is a prototype, it's possible to do many more things on this than it would be on an otherwise normal device. So we can see the iBoot version and see that it is indeed developmental in nature. Additionally, the build tag does not match any public tvOS version. This prototype Apple TV is in a little bit of a strange position. While it may not exactly be the best and earliest prototype around, it is one of the only prototype Apple TV models that is known to exist. And just the fact that any prototype of a device as obscure as an Apple TV can even escape Apple just amazes me and honestly makes me glad to know that devices even like this can still exist because they are pieces of history after all. But that's really what it's all about, isn't it? keeping things like this alive and making sure that all of the Apple work that went into it is appreciated. And hey, until now, most prototype collectors wouldn't even know what the prototype software on an Apple TV like this would even look like. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this prototype video, even if it was a little bit of a shorter one. If you did like it, please leave a like and even consider subscribing as that really helps motivate me to create more and more content. And I actually do have some more devices that you won't want to miss. So be sure to stay tuned for the next few videos.